The BR Motorsport team arrived at Silverstone for the penultimate round of the Brit Car Dunlop Endurance Championship. And they were in a positive frame of mind. The driver pairing of Jem Hepworth and Danny Harrison having won three of the five races to date. While the sister car of Jack Fabby and Gary Townsend had scored their maiden victory in the previous round at Alton Park. Furthermore, of all the circuits that the championship have visited so far, the characteristics of the Praga R1T were perhaps best suited to Silverstone. With all the aero that we've got, it really does play into hands because um, you've got all the f fast turn one, fast stow corner, and the aero really does help push the car to the ground and help us carry that corner speed. It's a great car to drive around here. It's so, so like seamless. You just, you know, it's, it's nice smooth steering inputs, nice and slow down the gearbox, really high downforce and quite a lot of speed through the corner. So it's a you know, hundred odd mile an hour average speed through most of the corners. I've never driven a car so fun to drive and I think that's one of the most important things to do when driving. You've got to enjoy it. But yeah, awesome team and car. There was no doubting the pace of the Praga in qualifying as Harrison and Hepworth topped the times to claim pole position for the first race of the weekend, finishing the session more than two seconds quicker than their nearest rivals. Despite having to repair the car following a crash in the previous day's test session, the R Motorsport almost made it a Praga 1-2 as Fabi and Townsend ended the session third, but just one-tenth of a second adrift of a front row start. At the head of a large field of sports cars, GTs and touring cars, Hepworth led the field over the line as the rolling start got underway. She held the lead into Abbey Corner while Fabi challenged for second place. But on the exit to the corner, a trail of tyre smoke as Hepworth went into a spin on cold tyres and had to wait for the field to go by. Fabi, meanwhile, was still mixing it with the GT cars at the head of the pack. And then another incident just behind brought out more yellow flags. With no damage to the car, Hepworth rejoined the race in determined mood to make up for the spin. Coming on to lap four, Fabi got an excellent run out of club corner and closed right up to the multiple Brit car production champion Mike Moss. Closing the gap further under braking into Abbey, Fabi then used the Praga's immense cornering speed to his advantage. Slingshotting past the BMW on the exit to farm curve and moving into the lead under braking into Village. Hepworth, meanwhile, was on a real charge through the order, moving back into the top 10 after just nine laps. By the time she brought the car into the pits to hand over to her teammate, she'd recovered brilliantly, guiding the Praga back up to seventh place. Then a good pit stop, coupled with some fast laps from Harrison at the start of his stint, meant that by the time everyone else had completed their mandatory pit stops, the 85 car emerged in the lead, completing the journey from last to first. Having lost some time during the pit stop, Townsend now ran in second place in the sister car, and although he would slip back a little in the second half of the race, he still finished fifth overall and second in class. But it was to be a fourth win from six races for Danny Harrison and Jem Hepworth, after a phenomenal recovery drive saw them taking the chequered flag over a minute clear of their closest rivals. So a terrific victory for Harrison and Hepworth, the result perhaps partly inspired by a recent meeting with a current Formula One star who had taken some time out to speak to VR Motorsports aspiring young drivers. Me and Jem met up with uh, Roman Grosjean, which is not something you get to do every day. So that was uh, a great experience for us both, just to be able to chat to somebody of the level of Roman. Roman is uh, an ambassador with Praga. It was a great opportunity to really get them talking about past, present, future. Roman really sort of, I, I guess, talked to them about in detail a little bit about Silverstone, really, as much as the race as, as anything, because uh, you know they, he's got a huge experience as a Formula One driver, and, and Silverstone's one of the the, the the fastest circuits for them, the most challenging circuit. So it, they they chatted a little bit with a view to what we're doing this weekend with the brick car. You know, you can always take a page out of someone's book, learn from their the positives and the negative things that has ever happened in their career. So you can just take a chunk out of everything they've ever done and put it to good use. And generally, if someone at that high level can come across as such a genuine, nice person, you know, you can take that with you as well. 
another great thing about meeting him was I could ask him about if he's ever met any females in motorsport and he said he has and he said it doesn't faze him at all, he, he respects that and he, he loves to see that there's more women coming into the sport and for me to get that, to hear that from an F1 driver is a really cool thing. In the second race of the day, strong opening stints from Gary Townsend and Jem Hepworth put the two Pragas into second and third places in the first half of the one hour race. The experienced draw motorsports pair of Ben Demick and Steve Burgess were in the lead, but when Harrison took over the number 85 Praga after the pit stops, he quickly reduced a 22-second lead down to just eight seconds. With more than enough time remaining in the race, it looked like a fifth win of the season was on the cards. But sadly, a rare technical issue cut Harrison's charge short. There was, however, still some good news for the team, as Jack Fabi moved back into second place overall and the Class 1 lead. With a win and four second place finishes from the seven races so far, that puts Fabian Townsend to within just three points of the championship lead. Heading into the final two races of the season at Snetterton, the pair will be pushing hard to try and win the 2020 Dunlop Endurance Championship.